Hi, in this example uh, or video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple uh, motor selection application. And we're going to start off with a small, simple database of those four engines. And what I want uh, to happen is the following. If I input something like 90 horsepower in here, I would want that engine with 90 horsepower to appear. Basically, I want to have this engine's type here, this description, uh, its price and mass. And basically what I'm talking about, in this case, that engine. And if I put in like 54, I want to have that engine. Okay, now, how to achieve that? We use a function called the VLOOKUP in order to implement that. And the way you do it is you go to your function wizard. There it is, I'm just gonna drag it down here so you can see it. You get all. Now, I don't want all, I just want VLOOKUP. So I basically go down and get VLOOKUP under V. And then I just overshot it. There we go, VLOOKUP. An alternative way to find VLOOKUP is to take, because I know that VLOOKUP lies in uh, the category uh, um, Lookup and Reference. So basically, under Lookup and Reference, if you instead of going for all, you go under Lookup and Reference, you would get VLOOKUP as well. Uh, should be done here. There we go. There it is. Okay? It doesn't matter whether you use all or Lookup and Reference. Main thing, you, get, you come to VLOOKUP and go to OK. Now, VLOOKUP requires four parameters. First of all, the lookup value. Well, what am I looking for? I am looking for a motor or an engine with 54 bhp. Okay, so the lookup value in this case is that value that I've inserted. In this case, the 54 horsepower. So basically, this is my lookup value. This it's like a, a VLOOKUP is like a dictionary. Let's say you have a bilingual dictionary and you wish to know what does cat mean in German. So in this case, your lookup value is not the German term of cat, but the term you know, in this case, cat. And here I know that I, I, I need 54 horsepower. What I don't know is what kind of engine, you know, what kind of engine I get. So basically I know that 54 horsepower and this is my lookup value. So C2, all right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bad, it's, I think in my opinion, it's a bad definition for that thing. But basically think about it like that. What do you know? I know I need 54 horsepower. Okay, so that's my lookup value. Now, table array, where's my engine database? It's down here. So I just select this whole thing here. Now, one thing you gotta watch out for is the lookup value and the first column in the table array they have to be of matching types. Meaning, this here, this 54 is horsepower. So thus, my first column in my table array must also consist of horsepowers, which is, in this case, true. I cannot select the table from mass onwards because mass and, and uh, because those masses and that BHP do not match. You always have to have your lookup value and the first column in your in your in your table array they have to be of a matching type or of the same type in this case horsepower okay now let's come to the column index number the column index number is in which column does uh, let me see we we are here looking for the engine type matching 54 horsepower so in which column does the does the engine type reside well, that's the first column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column. There's the type. So I need the data in the fifth column. Okay? And remember, here you input the number of the column and not its Excel name, in G or F, just the number. And always count. I mean, if I, if I needed the mass, I would go to column two. I would have, I would input here two. And you can see here, I would get the mass of that engine, okay, the 476. If I needed the price, I would put in three. Now I'd get the price. But I want the type, and the type is in column five. All right, now, uh, range lookup. In range lookup, you have 
what two values you can input in range lookup, either false or true. If I put false, oops, misspelled that. If I put false, that means I got an exact match of that engine. Okay? If I put true, I would get an engine equal with equal or smaller power than what I require. Okay? In this case, if you see here, you can see here in the preview, I'm getting the same motor. Let me keep it at false and I'm, I'm going to uh, use another example to show you uh, how true works. False. Oh, what's the matter with me? Can't I spell it right? There you go. False. All right. And okay. So, and you see here the engine type is S440, which is this guy. If I if I use 90, I get the S466. And if I type in 113, I get that guy and so on. Okay. Now, let me do it again with description. So basically, I use the same thing. Now I can, I used VLOOKUP, so I can go to most recently used, and there you go, VLOOKUP is there. Okay. And just do the same procedure again. Lookup value is basically my PHP that I know. I know I need 113 horsepower. My table array is my engine database. Okay. My index. Now we're looking for the description, and the description is in column one, two, three, four, four. And in this case, I'm going to keep range lookup to false. All right. Okay. Price is basically the same thing. It's basically the same thing. I can just basically copy that. Go in here. Paste it. And then all I've got to do, if you look at it, there's the function. You can, you can now edit that function with the with the with the function wizard if I click on that I come I mean that function wizard again and just change column where is my price my price is in column three so I just change that to three and I got that and what I can do I can don't even need the wizard I just pasted the the the, the 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 function again and I can change the you see here that's a see that is the lookup value first thing then you get a semicolon, then you get the um, table array, then another semicolon, that's a column number. And then finally here, you got this uh, uh, range lookup uh, parameter. Now I want for mass, I need to just change that from four to two because my mass is in the second column. All right, so there you go. Now you can put the power that you need and you get then that engine that fits or exactly match that uh, matches that that power that you've input now what happens if i give I put in something like 95 now you can see and i got a problem because i'm not getting any engines because no engine exactly matches that 95 that i've input i got 90 yes but no 95 now how do i remedy that situation well I'm going to show that in the next video.